You guys know me. I live and breathe this stuff. I saw a bunch of shuttle launches before they scrapped the program. Space exploration has been a lifelong obsession. And that's what these four documentaries will focus on. Space exploration. There are a lot of amazing astronomy focused documentaries out there and I love that stuff too. But this list is for exploration. So here are my four must watch space documentaries on the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11 in no particular order. When we left Earth. Watching this six part series is the best way to get a crash course in America's space program. Each episode is roughly 45 minutes long. This Discovery Channel documentary series starts from the selection process of the Mercury 7 astronauts, America's first astronauts, ends with the International Space Station, and chronicles the history of everything in between. Again, if you're unfamiliar with the space program, this is probably the best concise and entertaining crash course out there. And it is entertaining. And it's narrated by Gary Sinise. They do a great job. Watch it. For All Mankind. For a very long time, I said that For All Mankind was the definitive Apollo documentary. And that might still be true. For All Mankind is like watching home movies with very casual interviews, stories layered on top from the astronauts who were there. The documentary was released in 1989. It's 80 minutes long, and it has a beautiful soundtrack by Brian Eno. If you don't know Brian Eno and you like ambient atmospheric music, look him up. I love his album uh, called Music for Airports. Anyway, what's great about For All Mankind is how low key it makes this enormous monumental achievement of humanity feel. Because it's retrospective from the perspective of the astronauts. If you want a slow paced home movie style Apollo documentary with some great interviews by those who were there, watch For All Mankind. I love it. I have the Criterion Collection Blu-ray and today calls for another viewing. In the Shadow of the Moon. In terms of gathering perspectives from as many folks as possible and presenting the entire Apollo program in one quick 100 minute shot, this might take the cake. There are a lot of documentaries that try to make a documentary like In the Shadow of the Moon. Most fail to capture the spirit or fail to allow the astronauts to tell their own story or take it too far in one direction. In the Shadow of the Moon nails it. It includes interviews from at least one astronaut from each Apollo mission. All of the documentaries on this list are must watches. They are. For various reasons. Each tell a different story and if they brush up against the same information, which many of them do, they do them in entirely different ways. But In the Shadow of the Moon is one of the best looks at the Apollo program as a whole and maybe the best collection of Apollo astronaut interviews in one documentary. Apollo 11. Apollo 11 was released for home viewing only a few months ago. It's incredibly new. And it's incredibly different. In a way, it reminds me of For All Mankind, especially when it comes to the footage. But Apollo 11 turns the footage into a heart-pounding cinematic experience that starts with a slow burn. The soundtrack is amazing. There's archive footage that hadn't been seen in decades, which is extremely exciting for me because I watch so many of these documentaries and oftentimes you see the same footage, which is not a bad thing. It's, it's not a bad thing because it's amazing and it never gets old and it'll never not be amazing. But it's always nice to get a little peek at something different. If you're looking for a documentary that just focuses on Apollo 11 and nothing else and you want some excitement and a little bit of cinematic experience, there is no question that Apollo 11 is the one. As exciting as it is to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11, it also bums me out in a way. We need to keep pushing. <laughs>